you haven't tasted rice until you taste Auntie Flo's Kilombero rice. It brings out the flavor and taste in every meal. It's priced right as well. $4 for 2 kgs, $10 for 5 kgs and $100 for 50 kgs. Available at Eastgate Market Shopping Center in Harare and Fidelity Life Center in Bulawayo. Or simply WhatsApp us on the numbers on screen now. Auntie Flo's Kilombero rice. Delicious. Tasty, mouth-watering. Hello guys. Hello guys. Hello guys. You have followed the conversations. You have enjoyed the entertainment. You have laughed with us. And now we bring to you the official launch of the All A7 podcast show. That's how you must live your life. Don't explain your life to people. On Friday the 19th of January 2024 at Casino Marina Convention Center, Long Chin Plaza. Be a part of it. Join in the conversations. Make your brands visible. Make your brands a part of the conversation. For more information on how you can partner with us, contact the numbers on screen now. Not every crisis is a crisis. Mm -hmm. Some crises mean that we open our eyes yes. to what opportunities mm -hmm. reside there. The Ola 7 Podcast Show. It's now making sense. Hello guys, my name is DJ Ola7 Owen. We're coming on, on your number one podcast show in the land, the Ola7 Show. And you know what? This is where you get to know everything. So I'm yet uh, welcome uh, to yet another exciting edition of uh, the Genius Kids Show. I love this one uh, the most because, you know, I love kids. You know, I always love, you know, to have a chat with these uh, young ones. Uh, a show that showcases the talented, the gifted, the intelligent, extraordinary kids here in Zimbabwe. It is only on this platform that we cater for all ages, you know. So today it's going to be exciting show, an exciting one as I have here with me the crowned star rising queen. It's none other than Tama Muchineota. She's just 10 years old, but she's doing wonders. You know, she's a fragrance owner, an inspirational young leader, and a force for change in her community. So welcome to the Genius Kids Show. Thank you for welcoming me. Great. It, my, it is my pleasure, actually, to be hosting you on this platform. Uh, so, Tama, you are just 10 years, uh, but you've done a lot. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a good thing, you know, uh, to have you here in person. And uh, tell us more about yourself. Uh, who is Tama Chinota? Okay, my name is Tama Kunashi Mchinota. I am 10 years old. I am doing my grade 6 at Rapsod International Academy. Mm. I am a model retro presenter and a philanthropist. Wow. A, a presenter? Where do you present? At Capital 100.4 FM. Wow. Which show? Huh? Which show? The Kids. The for ki the Kids. For the Kids? Yeah. I love the Kids. You know, I always love the Kids. Remember, when I was on radio, I used to have this program called um, The Star Kids. So, you know, I, I was just interacting with the kids. Hi, how are you? Which school do you go to? You know, just over the phone. But right now, I'm now interviewing the kids and also giving you guys, you know, a platform, exposure as well to showcase what you guys can do. Right? Yes. How is that? That's so wonderful because you get to showcase your talent mm -hmm. and your public speaking yes, right here. Yes, yes, very true. So most kids, you know, uh, of your age celebrate their birthdays with a party, you know, but uh, you... You've decided to take a different, uh, you know, route. Uh, you chose to um, donate food, you know, to the less fortunate or should we say less privileged. You know, what inspired that, you know, uh, true act of generosity? Sometimes I used to sleep on an empty stomach. Wow. Sometimes you have, sometimes you don't. Mm. So I didn't want other children to go through that. Through, through that. Mm -hmm. So I used to go, I... I used to go and I still go to give the other children what I have. Wow. That's interesting, Tama. So you have an impactful initiative, right? And it's called End Period Poverty. You know, that's your initiative. Uh, you know, that drive. What inspired you to take you know, that route? Okay, when I met Vachirenda Center of Hope, I always loved this. So I, I partnered with Vachirenda Center of Hope and, we, and with the hope of other companies like Vida Chemicals and Dairy Fresh. Mm -hmm. we, 
we, they helped me so that I, so that I can reach out to those children. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So how has it been so far? I mean, any challenges along the way? Yeah, you know, like Ola, some people think that um, giving mm-hmm. it's not good. Like people have to work for their house selves. Yes. But some people don't even have the jobs. Mm. So I go there and I start giving. Hey, this is nice. This is nice. So normally, what do you give? Uh, sometimes I give sanitary pads mm-hmm. and I give food wow. and Christmas hampers. Mm-hmm. So you get funding from your sponsors? Yes. They help you with the, with the items? Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. So, you know, wh- how, how many, you know, organizations, you know, have collaborated with you uh, in that initiative? I'll start with um, Vachirenda Center of Hope. Secondly, Faith Flows. And then I'll also thank King Solomon. Mm. Oh, King Solomon. Yeah, he's my friend, by the way. Oh, you know King Solomon? Yeah. How did you meet King Solomon? Um, I met King Solomon when I was doing, on Facebook, when I was doing the, when I was giving the children the sanitary pads. Yes. Yeah. And he, he contacted you? Yes. Wow, I see, I see. So, your show on Capital 100.4 FM, you know, how has it been, uh, has been the journey so far? So, I have worked with Capital for two years. Two years. So that gave me that gave me a lot of exposure, and also I get to new more topics mm-hmm. about children. Yes. So what have you learned about children? Children is if is a they are very important people. Mm-hmm. They are our next generation. Mm-hmm. So we should take care of them. Mm-hmm. No children should like. Mm. Children are very important. important. I, I I just love that part, guys. She says children are very, very important. And, you know, there is something which is happening uh, in the country right now. I saw on social media, uh, it's now said, you, if you sleep with anyone below the age of 18, it's now a criminal offense, you know, below the age of 18. So, Mwana has to be 18 years and below. Then my adults, 18 years and above, when it comes to that issue. So even as a, as a minor, like a 10-year-old, but these days, so many issues, Tama, you know, early marriages, you know, before the age of 18, what's your advice to those, you know, who are engaging in that? In, the, in that? I don't think children should get should get involved in early marriages yes. because it is very bad because some, because, when you see children doing that, it is because of they don't they they have lack of education. Mm-hmm. Um, early marriages is the only thing close to them. Mm, I see. So you are into modeling. Yes. Wow, you love modeling. <clears throat> yes. So how did it start? You know, uh, the modeling thing. Do you okay. love just do you just love modeling or what? Like what happened? I was bullied at school. I used to suck my finger. <laughs> Oh, I don't want you good. Which, which one? Uh, this one. <laughs> okay, then you were bullied? Yeah, uh. and I was bullied at school. Yes. So um, I first went at um, my aunt, Auntie Yuki, yes. so that I can get groomed and then I can mm. regain my confidence. Yes. Because I had no confidence at all. Mm, I see. Well, what was causing, you know, lack of confidence? The bullying and stuff. The bullying and, and stuff. And the sucking my finger. Oh, thing. So how, how did you stop uh, the stop the When I went for grooming mm-hmm. and I then discovered my talent of modeling mm-hmm. and I always used to do it at school, but then when they started bullying me, mm-hmm. I lost my confidence. Oh, I see, I see. But how is your confidence now? And my confidence is super. Super. I like that. <laughs> That's Tama Mochino Uta. So have you maybe contested in various uh, Yeah. I have went to Dubai, I've went to Kenya, wow. I've went to South Africa, wow. and I've went to Zambia. Representing Zimbabwe? Yes. Well done! Ah, guys, 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 she deserves a round of applause. Wow, I'm super, super excited. You know, I'm happy for you, uh, Tama. It, it, it shows that, you know, your future is very bright, it's promising. Yes. Yes, very promising. So, uh, in March, you know, you were crowned the star rising... Queen in March uh, last year, uh, 2023, right? 
Yes. And uh, at the little, it was called the Little Miss Africa, <laughs> the Little Miss Africa a pageant uh, in South Africa. So how did you feel, you know, being crowned? And did you know that uh, you were going to scope the crown? Okay, I did not. I did not know that I was going to win. So, like, being rising star queen means a lot because they it shows that there's so much things that's going to happen mm -hmm. in my life. Mm -hmm. So, how many were you? Huh, sixteen countries. Oh, sixteen countries, and yes. you were the queen. Yes. The only one. Number yeah. one. Yeah, there were some in the team, mm -hmm. mini. Yeah. And day two. You were in which one? Toto. I was in the mini. The mini? Yeah. And you were crowned the Miss Little Africa. Yes. Ah, guys, I want all the, you deserve another round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> a nice one. So, where do you see yourself in the next uh, 10 years in the modeling circles? Because 10 years from now, you'll be 20. Okay. In the next 10 years, I see myself as in the junior, in the junior parliament. Mm -hmm. Um, advocating for the for the girl child, mm -hmm. and I also see myself in America wow. at the New York Fashion Show. Wow, wow! I, I I love the first part in the Junior Parliament advocating for the girl child. The girl child. So, what do you want to advocate? I mean, when you get uh, into the Parliament, the girl child. What about the girl child? The girl child. The girl child. Every girl child needs education, mm -hmm. shelter. Wow. Every child needs clothes mm -hmm. and sanitary pads. Mm -hmm. Sanitary pads. So, you will be in the junior parliament representing other girls, you know, other young girls. Uh, which year are we talking about here from now? Um, when I'm now 20 years. 20 years? Why wait for 20 years? Maybe you're, you're, you're 10 right now, maybe 13, 14? You should be able yeah. to be in the yeah. junior par parliament, right? Soon. Soon, right. So, I mean, uh, can you tell us uh, about the places you have traveled so far? Um, which, I mean, which one can you say it is the best uh, okay. so far and tell us why? Okay, Dubai was my best uh -huh. one because I get to meet more countries. And I saw that in Philippines, South Africa and more other countries, mm -hmm. they have a lot of support mm -hmm. in Zimbabwe, which is not like Philippines and South Africa. Yes, yes. In Zimbabwe, we really, have to, we really have to work together in the modeling industry. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what did you love the most about Dubai? Because Dubai, you get a lot of exposure mm -hmm. and you get to meet other people and that's where I got to learn about the pageantry and stuff. Mm, in Dubai? Yeah. I love that. What about the infrastructure? Did you see the tall buildings? Yeah, yeah. So the tall, I mean, did you get the chance to, to go to the Burj Khalifa? The tallest building in the world? Um, no. Oh. But, but I went to Dubai Mall. To Dubai Mall? Yeah. And which one? Uh, which other place in, in Dubai? I don't remember because there were a lot of places. Right. <laughs> yeah. no, I, I've been to Dubai more, of course. But you should, you should have gone to the uh, the tallest building in the world. And that's Beij Khalifa. That tall building is very... It's a very beautiful thing, man. So, uh, which one is the West so far? Okay. In the West country you've been to? I don't think I have the worst country mm -hmm. I've been to. Oh, the countries taught me something, uh -huh. which is really important. Yes. And uh, any other challenges you met along the way? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bullying was the worst thing I met. Because people think um, modeling is, is for, is not modeling. Um, keeps you away from school. Mm. But for me, I'm always the overall. Um, I'm always in. I always. I'm always in the overall, because last last term I was number one. Wow. Um, sec first term I was number two, mm -hmm. um, and then second term I was number one. Well done. Third term I was number one. Wow. So I don't think what people think is actually happening in this world. Mm -hmm. What they don't think is actually happening in this world. Mm. Oh, it's the opposite. Yeah. It's the other way around. Wow. Guys, this is just amazing. Uh, this is, uh, you know, Tama Anesu, right? Muchine Ota. On the All Last 7 podcast of the Genius Kids Show. 
where we get to, you know, interact with these uh, little ones, you know, getting, I mean, to hear from them, you know, so tell us more about your family, your parents, you know, how have you been uh, supporting you? Okay, so I would like to thank my mommy, um, Mama Miranda. And I would also like to thank my other mom, um, Mami Zodwa. Mm-hmm. And I, I would also... Which one? Auntie Zodwa? Yes. Zodwa Mkanda? Yes. Okay. Oh, she she's, your, she's your family member? Not, yeah, she's almost family. Yes. Because she helps me in everything. Mm-hmm. In pageantry. Okay. Yes. She makes sure I don't lack mm, any clothes. Any clothes, yes. Wow, so she's taking care of your, your wardrobe. Yeah. He's being well cared for. Yeah, uh-huh. and I would also like to thank my children that sent her for. Wow, that's powerful, man. That's powerful. So how many are you in your family? In our family, we are three. Mm-hmm. You're the first one? Yeah. And the little ones, how old are they? Uh, no, like I'm the only child. Oh, Oh, okay. I, when I say family, I mean maybe you've got other, you know, siblings. No. You're the only child. Yeah. <laughs> so you're a spoiled child. Um, kinda. <laughs> if you want anything, just say, "Mommy," uh, because you're the only one. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. So tell us about your friends. You know, how do they support you? Okay, my friends are really supportive. Like in class, maybe they ask me, um, like. Um, who they ask people who has ever been in a plane, and mm-hmm. then they and then they ask me, and then they're like obvious. Exactly, like <laughs> obvious. <laughs> like obvious. Yes, yes. So you know why should parents support uh, you know their kids? Because kids have hidden talents. Because you can you may not see the talent of your kid unless you go with your kid to grooming classes. Mm-hmm. Who are so, your, your 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 role models? Okay, my role model is Mami Zodwa. Mm-hmm. She's your role model? Yeah. I know she's a big fan of this show. Mami Zodwa, your daughter is here. You know, she's just thankful. So, you are the role model, you know. But there are so many parents out there, you know, who are abandoning their own child. You know, some kids are, you know, roaming around the streets of Harare, Blawayo, Gweru. They are street kids now. What what's your message to, to those parents? I just I just want to say to them, please help your children because you don't know their future. Maybe your children could even help you in the next future. Mm. So please help them. Wow, very powerful. So you are also a fragrance owner, like I said earlier. So tell us more about it and uh, you know what inspired you. Okay, I love to smell good. Wow. And and the fragrance helps me to get money mm-hmm. so that I can just I can get more things so that I can donate mm-hmm. to my other fellow kids. Mm. Also you're selling uh, that fragrance, yes. uh, fragrance, you know, to, to get money. You're raising money. Yes. You're already an entrepreneur. Yes. Wow. At at the age of 10. This is just amazing, guys. <laughs> So last year you received the sixth uh, annual African Child, you know, of the Year Award. They got one again last year. Yes. Yeah, and uh, in different uh, categories, uh, that is a philanthropic category and uh, motivational and uh, personal development category. So what were they? I mean, all about? Okay, these were the African Child Awards. Host by Stacy Fru. Mm-hmm. This makes sure that every child, like people know, n- n- people now know what you do around the world. They know that you're a philanthropist. Mm-hmm. You do for 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 safety, and it's just so amazing that people now know what I do. Mm-hmm. That I am a philanthropist. Yes, yes, yes. So how did you feel? You know when you won that? I was so happy because um. The last last year when I went, I I only got one certificate. Mm-hmm. So this year I was I was very happy because it was um, a nice opportunity for me, so that people know what I do. Mm-hmm. People know that I am a philanthropist. Mm, that's powerful. You also won the uh, the kids uh, uh, and teens award. Kids and teens award. You know uh, how was it? 
Okay, for that, I won also philanthropist. Wow. That one? Yes. So yes, you're just scooping awards one after the other, one after the other. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel happy mm-hmm. because now people know what I do. I'm mm. just so happy because now people know that I can go, I can go there and I can see more children mm-hmm. and then we can work together and then I can give them for those who don't have. Mm-hmm. That's powerful. So you also received an award for being the overall student in grade five, yes. right? How did you feel? Okay, I, I lied to my mother. Mm-hmm. That I was going to be number three. Oh, and then she uh, she came to the graduation with mm-hmm. with um with a bag so that I cannot feel lonely when others mm-hmm. are getting their presents. So like uh, when she had number one, two, so when she had my name being called mm. number one, yes, she screamed. <laughs> oh, so mm. like that was number three, then number two. So, yeah. so maybe she thought, ah, oh, so maybe this time it's not. Yeah. So coming home. Yes. Then, boom, number one. <laughs> <laughs> Were you expecting the number one? Yeah, I knew it. Uh-huh. Yeah, I knew that I was going to be number one because uh-huh. I believe in myself mm-hmm. because I have confidence in myself yes. and I am, I believe in myself. Mm-hmm. Powerful. So with all these achievements, yeah, you know, uh, uh, Tama, how do you balance school and other activities? Because it looks like it's a lot for... You know, a 10-year-old like you. But yeah, here you are. School is school. Mm-hmm. Modeling is modeling. There is time for school. There is time for modeling. It's not, it, it's not always every time you go to modeling. It's not. So you have to focus school. Mm-hmm. You have to focus modeling. Yeah. School is school. Modeling is modeling. Mm. So you have to separate the two. Yes. When it's time for school, it's you have to do the school. When it's time for modeling, mm. it's time for modeling. Okay, okay. So you've also initiated the, the campaign that helped some youths of uh, Mukubisi, you know, get off drugs and sent, you know, to rehabilitation centers. So how was it? And, uh, you know, what are some of the challenges uh, you faced during the, that campaign? Okay, it was nice, but you end up saying that Paunova Batsira, you see, kuti arku jokera foot mama drugs au kumu visa. So, but my mother keeps on pushing me, saying, "Go back, mm-hmm. go back," and I still get the strength, and I wake up, and I go back, mm-hmm. and I go back, keep on trying so, again. When you get there, when you get there, when you see them doing whatever they'll be doing, how, how do you approach them? How, what do you say to them? Okay, I'm just um, for those who do drugs, I'm just like, please stop because this 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 will never get you anyway. Mm-hmm. Because they are just wasting their time. Because when you see a, a children not going to school, mm. she he obviously she or she is doing drugs mm-hmm. because drugs are the only thing close to them. Mm. I see. It's quite sad, you know. Yeah. And uh, the future, I don't know. Mr. Chapamba say, you know, looking at these youngsters, you know, getting into drugs. I just told my drugs not darker glue. Um, yeah. Torino, all sorts, and so are you not just? I mean, afraid to approach those kind of you know guys when they were under the influence. Um, I'm not afraid because um, my mom told me, "What are you afraid of? Mm-hmm. You are the person who can control them. Mm-hmm. So don't be scared. Tell them, mm-hmm. talk to them. Mm-hmm. So I keep on talking to them, and I'm not afraid." So with the rise of drug abuse among the youth, what do you think should be done to end drug abuse, Tama? Every child should go to school. Mm -hmm. Because I see it's the only thing close to them. Mm. Because like glue, it's close to them. Mm -hmm. So they're just going to think it's the only way I can survive. Mm -hmm. So every child should go to school. Okay. So as someone who is giving a lot to the community, what are some of the, I mean, what are your wishes uh, to the young persons, every child should go to have a shelter, clothes, education. By the help of the, all the companies in this world, mm-hmm. I hope you help the children. So you are a force, you know, uh, Tama, uh, to be reckoned with, uh, a shining example of what can be achieved, you know, through passion, dedication, and selfless uh, commitment, you know, to making the world a better place. So 
what are your last words uh, to our viewers, Tama, and other kids viewing this show? Okay, thank you for seeing me here. And please follow me on my Instagram Facebook account. Mm -hmm. It's Tama Kunashem Chinota Facebook. And then Queen Tama ZW on Instagram. Mm. And also, please, parents, please support your kids in their talents. Because you cannot see, maybe you cannot see the talent with your child. But when you go with the children to grooming classes and gain their confidence, mm -hmm. you will see your, your children's talent. Mm, that's very powerful. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Tama, for coming. Thank you so much for coming here. You're happy? Yeah, I'm so happy because I get I got to share my, my wishes mm -hmm. to the world and I hope you do exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. So, who do you think should be on that seat next time, on the next show? Um, um, the next person who should be uh, on this seat is the person who is lacking right now. Mm -hmm. Next, she is on the seat. Mm. Wow. Talking about her talent. Her talent. Oh, yes. Wow. Do you know of anyone who needs exposure? Mm. Uh, Any young kids? To be on the Genius Kids show? Um, I only know one person. Mm -hmm. Which one? The other one called... Um, called... Okay, I don't remember her the name. The name. Yes. Okay, if you do remember the name, please let me know so that I'll invite her on the show. Okay, thank uh, you. Okay, that's fine. Thank you so much for coming. That was uh, Tama, and I must say, hey, Jenny is one of inspiration and hope reminding us that even the youngest you know among us uh, can be powerful agents of change genius kids show you know uh, the show uh, you know you can draw it very 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 intelligent brilliant kids who needs exposure should be on this uh, show so guys if you know of any kids who are talented yeah, gifted and intelligent come through and let's sit down and talk i'm your host Ola seven the chief air marshal and Rodauti Vanos Lagueno, Monongoti Bataba DM, and it got Pindam DM, can a many of another very intelligent. If you know of anyone who can be, you know, a good uh, candidate, I know about Shotachi Maya. Thank you so much for watching the Genius Kids show. We are big again next week, same time, every Monday, 7 p.m. Next, big shorty. My guest is a reminder, and also Manawenu and Gagatrazi, I show no Manawenu Kumbog, so that they can be inspired as well. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good night. From as little as $20, your Christmas and New Year's could be filled with entertainment. We provide free-to-air decoders, smart TVs with built-in satellite receivers, tech support for all our products second to none. Find us in Harare, Mutare and Mashingo. For more information, WhatsApp us on the numbers appearing on screen now. Kesson Electronics. Grab yours today. You haven't tasted rice until you taste Auntie Flo's Kilombero rice. It brings out the flavor and taste in every meal. It's priced right as well. $4 for 2 kgs, $10 for 5 kgs and $100 for 50 kgs. Available at Eastgate Market Shopping Center in Harare and Fidelity Life Center in Bulawayo. Or simply WhatsApp us on the numbers on screen now. Auntie Flo's Kilombero rice. Delicious. Tasty, mouth-watering.